You can't fix lackluster handling without addressing the fundamental mechanics of the suspension. That's suspension geometry. The only way to improve suspension geometry with the factory IRS subframe is to relocate the suspension pivot points. Kenny Brown takes a factory forward IRS subframe and modifies the pickup points to reflect the company's advanced geometry suspension 4.0 philosophy. The result is finished in gunmetal, powder coat, and serialized. Here's how to install it. Jack up the vehicle, remove the rear wheels, and store them under the Mustang. Remove the parking brake cables by disconnecting them from the calipers, removing the retaining clip, unbolting the bracket from the control arm, and pulling the cables free. Unbolt the brake caliper from the spindle and hang it securely out of the way. Don't let the caliper hang by its hose. Remove the rotor. Temporarily unbolt the upper control arm so you can move the brake caliper hose above the control arm. Reinstall the bolt finger tight. If you have traditional rear coil springs installed, support the lower control arm with a jack. Remove the lower shock bolt. Remove the ABS sensors and the wires from the differential and the cradle. Remove the catback exhaust. Disconnect the drive shaft and support it out of the way. Use a wide 2x6 and a floor jack to support the IRS assembly under the differential. Remove the forward subframe bolts. Then remove the rear subframe bolts. Carefully lower the IRS assembly, stopping along the way to free the mounts from the chassis and check for any hangups. Also confirm the subframe is balanced on the board before lowering it completely. Move the IRS assembly into an open area and rest it on four jack stands. Remove the sway bar end links. Using a suitable tool, pop the axles loose. Remove the upper spindle to control arm bolt. Remove the inner tie rod end bolt. Remove the lower spindle to control arm bolt. Carefully remove the axle and spindle assembly. Cover the holes in the differential with tape. Remove the rear sway bar. Support the differential. Remove the rear differential mount bolt. Remove the axle damper and the forward differential mount. Remove the differential mount bolts. Remove the differential. Remove the rear chassis brackets. They will not be reused, but save the hardware. Install the Kenny Brown upper control arms to the improved geometry IRS carrier. Refer to the instructions for the control arms for the torque specification. Install the lower control arms. Refer to the instructions for the Kenny Braun lower control arms for torque specification. Install the forward differential bushings and torque brace. Torque the front differential bolts to 50 pound-feet. Install the front control arm bolts. Refer to the instructions for the torque specification. Install the axle and spindle assemblies, being careful not to nick the seals with the axles. Install the Kenny Braun rear steer kit per the instructions. Install the lower control arm to spindle bolt and torque to 85 pound-feet. Install the upper control arm to spindle bolt. Install the sway bar and end links. Now we're ready to install the IRS assembly under the Mustang. 
Roll the assembly under the car and carefully jack it into position. Take your time and check as you go. Install the front mount bolts first. If equipped, unbolt and swing the emissions canister aside. Continue jacking up the IRS assembly until the rear hardtail mounts line up with the holes in the chassis. Different generations of Mustangs will use different slots. Torque the rear mount bolts to 55 pound-feet and the front mount bolts to 75 pound-feet. The rest of the installation is just the reverse of removal. Refer to the instructions for the torque values.